What is going on guys? It's your boy Coaster Jedi back here with another state countdown. This is the top five coasters in Connecticut. This is another state where I've ridden the majority of the roller coasters there. So today I'll be diving in and ranking all of the coasters in Connecticut from the worst to the best. So let's get started. So let's start off with some state stats. So the number of coasters in Connecticut is eight. Parks with more than one coaster is two, uh, and that being Lake Compounds and Quasi Amusement Park. And I have ridden six out of the eight coasters. The only two that I have not ridden, I will get into briefly. So because I've ridden the majority of them and all of the major coasters, I felt like I would be able to create this ranking. So let's get started with some honorable mentions or maybe dishonorable mentions in the case of number eight, which is one of the most awful coasters out there, and that is Wildcat at Lake Compounds. If you watch my Lake Compounds video, you know how much I hate Wildcat. It's just awful, it's rough, it's just so painful, and it's just not our ride to go near. Number seven is Kitty Coaster at Lake Compounds, which adults can't ride, uh, but if you do have a kid with you, you are allowed to ride, but you need a kid. And then six is Roadrunner Coaster at Ocean Beach Park, which I've never ridden, but it is another Kitty Coaster there. So. Overall, these are the three ones out that I could not find a space for in the video. Jumping into our top five, at number five we have Little Dipper at Quasi. And this is a fun, very old coaster. It feels very vintage. It's something that's been around for a really long time. And you don't always find these old kiddie coasters like this. So it sort of looks like a piece of ancient history in a way. Uh, it's fun. It's pretty smooth. Um, even though it's just a kitty coaster and it's nothing all that special, it does have a nice setting. It's right by the lake. And it's a solid ride overall for a kitty coaster and definitely one worth riding if you go to Quasi. Next up, you have Zoomerang, the state's only Vacoma Boomerang at Lake Compounds. And this is definitely not my favorite Vacoma Boomerang I've ridden. I found it to be much rougher than some of the other ones, especially on that. Backwards strip, I bashed my head pretty hard going through the cobra roll. So it's not the most enjoyable of the boomerangs. Uh, it's not a terrible ride, but not only is it a clone, it's one of the worst of its type, in my opinion. So I can't put it any higher because of that. It does have a beautiful color scheme, though. I love the purple and the blue. It looks really nice and it pops really well. So that's one positive of it. Oh, and here we go again. Here's my Boulder Dash opinion coming out. Not a big fan of Boulder Dash compared to some of the other coasters. I just find it to be disappointing, rough, and painful with no airtime. It is a work of art, though. Like I said in my like Compens video, it is absolutely a fantastic feat of engineering that they were able to get in the forest. The setting is really what makes this ride um, really anything at all. So that's really cool. But the rest of the ride is pretty boring and pretty rough and doesn't really do it all that much so I wasn't the biggest fan of this ride and having it as my number 100 coaster really kind of sucked but it is a work of art that they were able to put it in the forest like that. Taking the runner-up spot we have Kwasi's Wooden Warrior and this is a very fun gravity group family coaster. This is actually my 20th coaster that I ever rode so been a while since I rode this, but I remember really enjoying it. It was very smooth, had some nice airtime, and was great for families. It's especially good for kids who want to work their way into bigger and tougher roller coasters because there's actually like forces and airtime on this ride. It might not be as good as Oscar's Wacky Taxi or Kentucky Flyer, which I've heard really good things about, but it's certainly a fun ride and very smooth and enjoyable. And at number one, we have Phobia Fear Coaster, the Skyrocket 2 with lap bars at Lake Compounds. And this thing is so much fun. I recently was just able to ride Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and I forgot how much fun these things were until I got back on it. And just uh, the feeling of the turning around and the inversion is fantastic. And with lap bars, it takes it to a whole nother level. It's so much fun. These things, are, even though they're clones, they're very intense. They pull some great G's and you get some fantastic hang time throughout the layout. So this is definitely an excellent ride and in my opinion, one that is pretty underrated. All right, thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you don't get too triggered by Boulder Dash in my opinion. 
And uh, thank you for being awesome and hope to see you in the next video.